I think the patient safety movement has really had a big impact on all the hospitals in the United States, but now globally. It, it went from a, a summit to a movement in less than a year. We brought a sense of urgency. The fact that we made this a commitment-based organization, not just one where people came to talk, but one where people came to act out of kindness. We've done a better job partnering with patients and we are learning from them that what they want is for us to just own it and be transparent and then demonstrate that we're doing something about it. It's really empowering for patients and their families to feel like they can take a proactive step in their care and to know that people are listening to them. When hospitals put that public commitment out there saying, we are gonna save 20 lives next year by improving the way we treat sepsis, that's out in the public domain. And then everybody wants to know, how are you doing? What can we do to help you? Are you progressing towards that 20? And lo and behold, they had 40 or 50 lives saved. We've seen this over and over and over again. So by making those commitments and standing up and saying, you are gonna make a difference, it works. We've got a lot of hospitals that have committed and we wanna start looking at the results. We wanna analyze the results. How have we affected outcomes? And then like, like in any other good engineering study, you take those results and you go back to the drawing board and see how we should modify our system, our apps, in response to what actually happened in the hospital to make them better. So it's very important to keep your eye and your objectives in the whole system, not just the prestigious big uh, institutions or hospitals. Everyone is important because every day, if you have a hospital with 10 beds or 20, every day they are giving medical attention. The actionable patient safety solutions are proven evidence-based models of how we could get to zero preventable harm. If you put the bundles in place around central line infections, around quadi, around surgical site infections, hospitals have achieved zero preventable harm in those areas. Today, more than two million people go into hospitals and acquire preventable infections from unclean surfaces, unclean surgical tools. We're not done yet at all. We have a long way to go. And with organizations like the Patient Safety Movement, it's really moving the needle forward. As healthcare organizations, we have a moral obligation to do no harm. It's just the basic foundation of the Hippocratic Oath. We are getting there. But we need to create uh, more momentum. We need to bring more people, more countries, more institutions, and together we will get there. Someone asked me, well, this is aspirational. And I said, everything is aspirational in, in, in life. So we have to join our efforts and to go as a team and to looking for zero. While I'm disappointed we didn't get to zero, because I really, really thought we could and we should. We're not gonna give up. We just came up with the new goal. We're gonna go for zero again, hopefully by 2030.